then welcome back to your online class so we were doing chapter 2 that is structure of chromosome cell cycle and cell division we have already discussed in detail about the structure of chromosome and what is cell cycle today we will carry forward with cell division okay now there are two types of cell division what are those those are mitosis and meiosis okay mitosis where does it occur it occurs in body cells or somatic cells okay now and where does meiosis occur it occurs in reproductive uh, cells of reproductive organs okay for formation of sperm or formation of division of sperm or uh, eggs your uh, meiosis occur the major difference between mitosis and meiosis other than the site of origin is in case of mitosis same number of chromosome is passed on from the parental chromosome to the daughter uh, from parental cell to the daughter cell that means chromosome number is maintained but in case of meiosis only half the number of chromosome from the parental cell is passed on to the daughter cell that's the major difference between mitosis and meiosis okay for your board of exam point of view and according to your icsc syllabus we will be discussing about only in detail about only mitosis different stages of mitosis okay and as we know uh, as we have already discussed earlier that cell cycle what is it it's a predefined uh, stage or steps that the cell take before dividing right so what are the stages that the cell undergo during the cell cycle first stage or interphase right interphase is also referred to as resting phase it's also a preparatory phase because here the chromosome uh, the duplication of dna protein synthesis rna it prepares itself eventually you can say the cell prepares prepares itself for the cell division okay now in interphase you will be observing chromatin fibers okay if you look at this figure you will uh, observe a thread like structure okay the chromosome has not yet condensed okay now after the interphase is complete and the cell moves on with the cell division now your cell division has two stages like i told you before earlier also karyokinesis and cytokinesis karyokinesis means division of nucleus and cytokinesis means division of cell now in mitosis in karyokinesis is divided into different stages okay first comes your prophase prophase now what is the distinct feature of a prophase is in prophase in your early prophase you can visualize that the chromatin thread like shock chromatin fibers have condensed and they have for uh, the, they have bundled up and now they will be termed as chromosome okay so you can see the condensed chromatin fibers in your early prophase now in in late prophase what happens is uh one thing to add up in early prophase the centrioles which is responsible for forming a spindle fibers they duplicate in your early prophase so you can see the duplication of the centrioles okay and in late prophase the distinct feature that is observed is your nuclear membrane which was continuous here in the early prophase in late prophase you can see that nuclear membrane is this integrating okay and your centrioles which had duplicated has moved on to the polar region okay and you can see the formation of the spindle fibers into which your chromosomes are attached so this features are observed in late prophase now after prophase comes your metaphase metaphase now what happens to the chromosome in the metaphase they line up in a equilateral plane okay as soon as you see that the chromosome has lined up in this plane then you can say that this particular stage is a metaphase 
okay now after metaphase comes your anaphase now in early anaphase what can you see is the sister chromatids had separated and they are moving towards the polar end and in your late prophase you will see that the sister chromatid has already moved on to the polar end okay so if you see the chromatids in a polar end then you can say that it's a anaphase and along with the movement of the sister chromatid in the polar ends you can also see the furrow in the cell okay furrow formation furrow formation takes place in the cell as soon as you see this furrow and the sister chromatid moving to the pole region then you know that it's a anaphase okay now after anaphase comes telophase now in telophase the nucleus formation has the this, this sister chromatid and centriole will compartmentalize itself into a nucleus another into another nucleus okay the furrow has deepened okay and nucleus separation has taken place so till telophase it's karyokinesis so starting from prophase metaphase anaphase and then comes your telophase okay distinct feature in prophase how can you say that it's a prophase you can see nuclear membrane disintegrating poor a spindle fiber formation takes place as soon as you see the nuclear membrane has disintegrated or you see the duplication of a centriole that means it's a prophase as soon as you see the chromosome lining up in equilateral plane it's a metaphase as soon as you see the sister chromatid moving on to the opposite poles okay then it's a anaphase along with the sister chromatid moving to the opposite pole if you see the furrow it's a anaphase then in telophase two nucleus for a deepening so till telophase it's a karyokinesis then comes the next stage of your cell division that's cytokinesis so cytokinesis what happens from a parent cell two daughter cell has been formed in case of cytokinesis and in case of mitosis mitosis the chromosome number remains same and also what you can see is it has the chromosome has revert back to thread like form chromatin fiber form okay so that's the characteristic feature of a cytokinesis okay so that's all about cell division so these are the figures which you have to uh, go in detail okay now this one is for your animal cell now in case of plant cell only difference is they don't have centrosome okay so, but the spindle formation takes place with the help of other microtubular structure but they don't have centrosome and uh, this furrow formation does not take place in plant cell plate formation takes place and the cells is separated okay now plant cell how can you distinguish they have a separate one more layer outside cell wall and that's also how you can distinguish whether it's a plant cell or a animal cell so this diagram from this particular chapter is very much important okay the, this diagram is given in your book the difference between plant cell and animal difference in mitosis in plant cell and animal cell is also given in your book so you can go through that properly okay this is one of most of the time the five marks question that is application based question from this chapter is asked for uh, regarding any of this diagram they will give you one diagram and uh, based on that diagram they will ask you the question from this topic so we are done with mitosis from meiosis you just have to know what is meiosis where does it take place we have already discussed right and why is it called reduction division because here the half the chromosome number chromosome number is reduced that's why it's a reduction division okay so uh, you will be asked only that you don't have to go through the different stages of meiosis so here we sum up with the chapter uh, chapter 2 that is structure of chromosome cell cycle and cell division in our next class we'll start with the we'll i'll start the next and the last chapter that is genetics okay we'll be discussing mendel's uh, experiment based on genetics okay 
so that's all for today you go through this topic from your book okay go through the diagrams properly okay you will be asked diagram based questions so go through do not skip any diagram okay thank you